you get finished early, I want you to go back and double check that you answered all the beginner questions, that you answered them completely, that you tried your best on all the rest of them. We don't learn Spanish by being lazy about reading. We learn Spanish by trying to read and understand, and by listening and trying to understand. Yes, sir. Yeah, the same one. That's okay. That's that's because if some teachers only use some of the intermediate questions, then they would have that, and if some teachers only use the advanced, they would still have the same question. But I let you guys push yourselves. to at least get through the beginner questions. Yes, you should do as many as you can. I don't remember what ones that you missed on the other. Questions? Questions? Okay. Rosa? Ask on your own. seconds to finish up your beginner questions and finish trying the intermediate and advanced. Remember, if you get any of the intermediate or advanced ones wrong, it doesn't hurt you. It does not count against you. score on the beginner level questions. And then you're going to put your Chromebooks away. You don't need them anymore at all for Spanish class. You do need your notebook and something to write with. Pen, pencil, does not matter to me as long as it is something you can read. Make sure you submit your form. And get your notebook out and something to write with. I'm in the first class I had in sixth grade, or? No, but I don't remember if I had to do something. So I had to write down these weather words, right? Yeah. Awesome. I forgot my notebook. That's unfortunate. Can I use a different notebook? No, probably better if you just write them on a piece of paper that you can staple in later. Computers are away, away, long gone. Don't need them anymore. Reese, put it away. Yes, ma'am. You guys need to make sure you are coming prepared to class with everything you need. That includes your notebooks. Otherwise, your notes are going to end up all over the place. And that's not going to help you when it comes time to study. No. First, put the computer away, please. You don't need them at all anymore. Yes, sir.
All right, while y'all are finishing up getting settled, I'm gonna put your computer away. Please, you don't need it. Let's go over the intermediate and advanced questions to see if you got them right or not. You want me to taste the Espanol? Bolling, Can you hear me? Deliciosa. I don't care if you pronounce it wrong, as long as you are trying, it doesn't matter to me. Next question. Como se dice minerals in Espanol? Monty? Minerales. Next question. Como se dice I was inspired in Espanol? Zach? Me inspiro. I don't know what the next question is. I gotta go scroll. Back to the advanced ones, I think. Maybe? Yeah. Exhausted or defeated in Espanol? This one was a little harder because it doesn't look exactly like but one of the English words. Michaela? Agotados, yes. Whole in Espanol, Yuki? Entera, because it looks like entire. You eat the entire pomegranate, you ate the whole thing. Entera. Uno más. Me inspiro, I mean, just gave away the answer. I was inspired in Espanol. Well, me inspiro, fantastico. All right, you need a fresh page in your notebook, preferably the next page that's free. You're not going all out of order or anything. You're going to title it, cycle one, C1, phase one, P1. This is like chapter and section kind of, but not because it's my words. You'll figure it out eventually. C1, P1, lesson two. And today's topic is El Tiempo. Does anyone know what El Tiempo means in English? It no, does not mean time. I mean, it does mean time, but not what we're talking about today. It has two meanings. Tranquilo. Joey? The temperature. You're very close. That's temperatura. Joey? The weather. The weather. El Tiempo. You are going to write down what the words mean in Spanish and in English, but you're going to stay with me because I'm not going in order of everything on the screen here. Ooh, what color should I use? Blue. Blue. Hold on, do you want to have a decision maker? Have I hired a decider yet? Ooh, a pull up? Did we not figure this out last year of don't volunteer for things until the suffered explains them? So my decision maker, my decision maker will be the person who decides between different things for me. So you can't be someone that's like, I don't know where I want to go for dinner. That's me. That's how I live my life. You have to be someone that's like, I want Culver's for dinner. Like you know, and you can make decisions between two hard choices. But listen, if I'm asking you to decide between people for something, you can't just pick your friends. That's not how that works. If that happens, I'll fire you. So you have to pick the person for different things that you think is most capable, or should give it a shot, or who Miss Leopard would want to do it. You have to take your classmates' considerations and Miss Leopard's considerations, thoughts, into consideration when you're making decisions. Raise your hand if you're interested in being my decision maker. Do any of you have jobs yet? What race? I need paper towels. Go get some. All right, we've got one, two, three, four, five people with their hands up. Those of you who are keeping hands up, but you also have to point. Point to the person that you think will do a good job keeping my wants in their minds and their classmates' wants in their minds, and they're not going to pick their friends. Marissa, who are you pointing at? Austin. Austin, who are you pointing at? Yuki, who are you pointing at? Austin. Michaela, who are you pointing at? Okay. Uno, Paul, so Paul, Austin. Oh, we need to 
be the right person. Because clearly, well then do your job, dear. Austin, do you accept this position? Yes. All right, what color should I write my hand? Green. There it is. All right, numero uno. Ase soul. So you should write down Ase soul on your page. Spanish. See? You're going to write the Spanish and the English so you have something you can study from. Ase soul. Now raise your hand. Raise your hand if you know what it means in English. Yuki, it's sunny. Ase sol means it's sunny. So next to ase sol, you should put it's sunny. I'm going out of order, so I don't think you know what's coming next. Because I'm adding one. Dude, don't use an X board, right? Not on paper. Numero dos. Page. Numero tres. We're going to do all the hace ones first. Hace calor. Hace calor. Austin? Um, hot. It's hot. Hace calor. What if I said hace mucho calor? Rizzo? It's really hot. It's really hot or it's very hot. Hace 
say Blaine Chample. That's a B in case the cursive is hard for you to read. I'll say Blaine Chample. If we know what I say mean, it, we know that Chample is weather, I'll say Blaine Chample. Auntie? It's good weather. It's good weather. And that, of course, could change based on your opinion of what kind of weather you enjoy. But in your opinion, cold, cold, chilly. Yeah. Numero siete. I'll say mal tiempo. Austin? Bad weather. Bad weather. Oh, I'll say mal tiempo. Bad weather. Again, that could be opinion. If you're someone who hates the cold and hates the snow, maybe in winter you think, I say mal tiempo. But if you're someone who loves the cold and you love the snow, you might think, I say buen tiempo. That's okay. Es una emergencia? What did I just ask him? It is a what? Lil, es una emergencia? No. Gracias. Okay. Going back up to the top. Numero ocho. Está nublado. That's a B again. Está nublado. Keegan? Um, it's cloudy. It's cloudy. Está nublado. It's cloudy. Can I get more quick before I show them? I'm giving away all my money. By money, I mean equivocal. Money, 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 money. Numero siete. I'm going to write this one out in print. You way, bay. You way, bay. Zach? It rains. It literally means it rains. Not it's raining. Not it's rainy. It rains. Well, it's raining Clipper Cash right now I'm here with all y'all raising your hands and volunteering. I'm going to add one in now. Oh my gosh. No one found my mistake. You got to tell me when I do something silly on the board. Austin? It's supposed to be a Gracias. All right, number 10. Oh, I did not forget one yet. Oh, yeah. Esta lloviendo. Oh. There's a reason why I wrote it on top of the raindrops. If you wave a means it rains. Esta lloviendo. Say that? It pours. No, big yes. Michaela? Storm? No, big yes. You're overthinking it. It's on the raindrop. You need to tranquilo over there, man. Calmate. Calmate. Trying to give them a chance. Lil? It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. So that en though at the end, that means ing. It's raining. If yoviendo means raining, what does comiendo mean? Michaela? Eating. What about escribiendo? Rissa? Writing. Writing. What about corriendo? Oh, my microphone's are really loud. I thought you were more dramatic than that. Keegan? Running, yes. Running. Condition. All right, we got one more picture. Two more words, though. But one more picture. Nieva. Nieva is number 11. Nieva. Monty? It snows. It snows. Nieva means it snows. If nieva means it snows, what do you think? Esta nevando. Esta nevando means. Autumn? It snows. 
snows in. Yes, it's snowing. Oh, that's hard to see. Let me let me go over it in purple. I think whatever. Blue. Use blue. Because blue is part of the picture. Take a moment, look at, look over your notes, try to remember what they mean. So I'm going to put you with your eyes closed in a second. No. It's okay if you don't know them all, so just try to remember. Your voices are off. Try to remember what they are. So you can get rich and cook the cash. Voices should be off right now. I've given you something to do. 30 more seconds to look at your words while I rip my cooker cast off. So I'm ready for you. I don't give you time to study in class for just no reason. I actually want you to just look over the words, try to remember what they are. Maybe you could like say them out loud in your head. What? I guess you're just reading them then, but you know, like look at the list. And think to yourself, I'll say soul, it's sunny. I'll say viento, it's windy. I'll say calor, it's hot. Think it out loud in your head. All right, cierra los ojos, close your eyes. I'm gonna say a phrase in Spanish. If you know what it means, you're gonna raise your hand, and I'll pick one of you with your hands up to tell us what it is. If you're correct, you get clipper cash. If you're not, I'll pick someone else. I'm so close. A moment to just rest your eyeballs too. I say so. I say soul. I say soul. Autumn. It's sunny. It's sunny. I say viento. Ooh, I say viento. Joey. It's hard. Joey. It's windy. It's windy. I say viento. I say calor. Zach? It's hot. It's hot. I say frio. Reese? Cold. I say fresco. <laughs> Little? It's cool. And the literal meaning of It's fresh. Oh, okay, Lily. <laughs> Guess you're answering that one. I say plain tiempo. Nuki? It's good weather. Good weather. I say mal tiempo. Michaela? It's bad weather. Careful on these. These are the hard ones. No, not really. Es <laughs> Lily is una experta en español. Está nublado. Está nublado. Don't cheat, Nikki. No hace sol. Está nublado. Keegan? Si, perfecto. You wave or está lloviendo? You wave or está lloviendo? Marissa? It's raining. It's raining or it rains. Nieva or está nevando? Nieva or está nevando? M? It's snowing or it snows. Flat nose, people. Abre los ojos. Open your eyes. I gotta, I gotta turn the camera. While I get ready, talk to your neighbors about uh, what the weather's like today. Well, you can like look out the window. That might, that might help. Oh, 
the Lord. All right, at what point do you think fresco becomes calor? Like what temperature is the, in, in your opinion? Michaela? Uh, 70 degrees. 70 degrees-ish. Lil? 85 degrees. So 84 degrees is cool? Oh, cool? Oh, Calor and fresco. So anything warmer than 50 is hot? No. <laughs> okay, today, oi. Oi, oi. I say fresco or I say calor? Fresco? Fresco. Calor? Frio? No, I say frio, classe. And Wisconsin? Si. No, I say frio. Oh, no. I say frio. Está nublado? Está nublado, sí o no? Sí. Sí. Sí, sí está nublado. Oh, sí. Es, está completamente nublado? No. O parcialmente nublado? Parcialmente nublado, sí. ¿Sigue? I was going to say 75 degrees. Oh, well, we moved on past that. ¿Hace buen tiempo? Sí o no? Sí, no. Okay. sí, sí, hace buen tiempo. Hace mal tiempo. Huh. Why? Por qué, Joey? I like it cold. Ah, a Joey le gusta el frío. Who else? Quién le gusta el frío? Who likes cold? I like it fresh. Shh. When I'm asking a question like this, how would I like you to respond? Con manos. No, con la boca. Frío. Boom. Fresco. Calor. Oh. Just like cool weather is popular. Interesting. All right, we're going to write. So, open up your notebooks. If you have room on that same page that you're writing on, go ahead and use it. If not, use the back side. Keegan? Si, rapido. Say soul? Mm -hmm. See you know? No. 
something in Coco Souls? You don't know? No. Okay. I say you're not right, any Peter. Should I catch Billy? Jack? He? <gasps> no. I say un poco soul. Who so your turn? Tu eres muy dramática. Zach, dramático. Está nublado, ¿sí? Nublado en inglés. Okay. Está completo. You're not writing an unknown sentence. It's obviously a giant missing word. Está completamente nublado. Parcialmente nublado? Sí. Okay. Está parcialmente. There you go. Now you can write. Yeah, cheaters. Auntie, next time you need to make sure you bring your notebook with you. Parcialmente nublado. One more sentence. Hace. Buen tiempo o hace mal tiempo? Buen tiempo. Mal tiempo? Sorry, gentlemen. Hace buen tiempo. Now, yeah, you cheaters. Still shouldn't be writing. Hace buen tiempo hoy. Punto. Write it down. Then we gotta read it super quick. We're running out of time. Pen of power. In English. With me. Reading in English. If you wanna write a word down on your notebook, you may. Okay, as we go through it. If you don't, that's fine too. I'll be posting these in the Google Drive folder that I'll tell you about next week. Mm -hmm. Starting with the title. The temperature.